Galaxy Pluto Mobile. We're popping the bottom covers off and oh yes, this has an amp in it. He did tell me that. So yeah, that's why we're deleting this here just so it can go into the back side. So we'll take care of that. I'll also do the recap. And it does have the uh, North Star frequency counter in it, but this amp, uh, what is that? Uh, it is a one pill, so it's a uh, SD1446. Huh. Interesting. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like a, it, this bows out a little bit. And there's a little shield on this. Huh. I've seen one of those. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not an amp guy, but uh, this needs a little bit of a heat sink. And I'm looking here. And you can see right here, there is two screws that go through the board. And so it's sitting in between this actual metal face plate and the amp plate. And that is what's causing it to bow out a little bit here. But very interesting. SD 1446, just a little one pill. Um, hmm, interesting. I'm not an app guy, like I said, so you guys are smarter than me about that stuff. I don't know what you all think. I don't even know who makes that. Doesn't really have... Doesn't really have much... Uh, but it looks like a prefab board. Oh, hmm. Well, in any case, we're going to have to disconnect this stuff to do a recap. So we're going to go ahead and put that off to the side for right now. Um, but yeah, it's always a surprise stuff. Um, I think he bought it, uh, eBay, the same thing. So that's cool. I just buy, uh, you know, with low dead key, I just end up running, you know, just get a, an external box because yeah, I don't know how long this thing would last. Um, y'all think it needs a heat sink or something. Don't not very, but it's just a little one pill, but I think, you know, even that needs, a little more than what this thing has, but we'll be back with the uh, starting up a recap. In the process, I keep forgetting to hit the record, uh, recapping the Pluto for Mr. Steve. Um, still have this amp off to the side, so anybody that uh, has some knowledge on this amp, it's quite interesting. This does have a low dead key, so that's good for him. Uh, Mr. Steve wanted to just have that in there. It came with it. So we're just going to go ahead and get all these caps in here and be back. Nothing really too exciting with doing a recap. You can see other videos on that. Uh, similar board layouts, a couple part number changes. But yeah, if you have the EPT uh, 3614 Bravo board, uh, layout it's uh, pretty much identical on that side as far as the uh, electrolytics mm -hmm. 